Oh man! What's saying about this? The monastery. Which one is it with all the lights? The white, yeah. I tried to get them down 15 for two. Uh huh. All right, but he said, no, I gotta have 20. There are more in that store. And he gave me this scarf from my wife. So. <laughs> the Sea Galley. The mountains in the back are Syria, the Golan Heights. And 45 minutes to Syria by taxi. Is the mountains of Galilee, which the Sea of Galilee is named. <laughs> Sea of Galilee, and people ask, ask us about uh, what did Jesus uh, did around, and is that uh, church is authentic, uh, this is the place where Jesus performed miracles, uh, what did Jesus sow at his time, and each time we tell you that those buildings built by the Byzantians, the Crusaders, and then the Franciscans, and so it's accumulation of buildings. But here, this is an authentic place. This is what Jesus saw. So if you look around you, this is what Jesus saw. This lake, it was at the time of Jesus. Up to today, it's the same. The same sound, the same color, the same smell. So this is an authentic place that Jesus was on. And we are privileged to be in a wooden boat. Look like boats from the time of Jesus. And Jesus, he took those kind of boats, riding, going from one place to another place, from one side to another side. And Jesus, you know, looked to that city at the top of a pair and he pointed to it and he said a verse saying a city on a hill can't be hidden so Jesus he was pointing on that city on top because that city it was the only city at the top of a hill at that time now called Suffolk on the shore of the Sea of Galilee Jesus teached and he preached where did Jesus he preached? All over the Sea of Galilee? At the shore? No. He concentrated his ministry on one quarter of the Sea of Galilee. So where is that quarter? It started from that valley over there. If you look that direction, you will see a hill and there is a valley behind it. This valley called the Pigeon Valley. So Jesus he used to come from Nazareth through that valley to the shore of Galilee and he started his minister from that point all the way to the northern part of the hill. So many scholars says that the more than 60% of the New Testament was written on the shore of the Sea of Galilee and it was mainly on this quarter. So this is where Jesus he stepped and he made perform miracles and he walked on this water of the Sea of Galilee and he made miracles. What miracle? He calmed the storm that happened here. Okay. Let me continue the story just to tell you how if you ask the crew if there will be high storms, big storms with high waves, they will tell you every year we will have it more than one time. We might have it four or five times. How it will happen? All the wind comes from the west. And when it reached the sea level and start going down, the wind is started to accelerate. So it will be stronger and stronger until it will, it will reach the surface of the sea and then it will hit. But it's not enough. When there will be another wind coming from 
the east and relatively the winds from the east it's warmer so when you have warm winds cold winds it will collude it will be at the top of, of the sea and it will make like small tornado and then there will be waves up to 10 feet high so even that it is a small lake but more than one time a year there will be high waves happen. So to the left, to, to this side, which is the west of the Sea of Galilee, this is Tiberias. And Jesus never mentioned that Jesus was in Tiberias. Why? Jesus was a Jew. And within the city of Tiberias, there were a cemetery. Herod Antipas, he actually, he built a city to attract the Jewish people, but he made a mistake. He built it on top of a cemetery. And cemetery for the Jewish people, it is not clean spirituality. So what is the importance of the Sea of Galilee of today? It is the source of fresh water for 60% of the population of the population of the Holy Land, which means Israel and West Bank. Okay. So 60% of the water comes from here. And the water from here comes from the rain. If you have a good rain season, the level of water it will be enough and everybody will have water, fresh water. What if we don't have a good rainy season? The level of water will go down and there is a red line that you can't exceed it. This is a red line. Did we reach this red line? Every other year we have a problem with water and we reach this red line. The severe one, it was in the year 2000. The level of the water went down and we didn't have, have fresh water to drink. Can you imagine 60% of the population we don't have water? So there were like 100 solutions. They will bring water from, from Turkey. They will buy, they will desalinate, they will do this and that. But one of those reasons, one of those solutions was war. Even though that it is very tiny, very tiny possibility to have a war, but it might cause a war with the neighbors to have water give you an indication how important is the Sea of Galilee. The main source of the Sea of Galilee is the Mount Hermon that I mentioned before. From the foot of Mount Hermon, those three springs that they are forming the River Jordan. And then we have another four kinds of springs that are coming from those mountains, from the Golan Heights as well as from the Galilee. The first kind is the freshwater springs. Second is a warm water springs. Third is a hot water springs. Why we have warm and hot? Because this area, it used to be a volcanic area. And the volcanic is still alive. And the indication that this volcanic alive is those springs. The warm springs and the hot springs. The fourth kind is the salt springs. And those salt springs the government, they don't want to mix with the fresh water salt, salt springs. So they built a channel and they put the water into that channel and they dumped it all the way down to the south of the Sea of Galilee. So how important the Sea of Galilee? It's very important. If you want to compare it, you compare it with the heart because it is beating and give fresh water for 60% of the population. Okay, enjoy it, and um, have a silent moments with yourself, and think that Jesus was here.